Hey guys, Natasha with the Day of Ethel vlog. Melanie Moreland's um, BAM boys, or the Vested Interest boys, kind of have been stuck with me. It's over a year ago I started reading them, and I read them very quickly in a short amount of time. And every guy, you know, from Bentley to Van to Reed to Maddox and Aiden, you just... There's so much that you fall in love with these guys because they do what's right with their money. Now we have Halton. Halton is a brooding lawyer. He's a family law lawyer. He's the guy you call in when you're getting a divorce or you're gonna go fight for your kids. He's the guy you want in your corner. Now Hal has something more going on. Hal is overworked and he takes his job very seriously and he can't take on another case. But now this person piqued his interest. He's seen her afar when he was at the bar and he goes, her beauty was kind of just struck him. She had silver hair. He's like, oh, she's a cougar. But as she got closer to him, he saw the inner beauty. Yes, her hair is gray, but she's not that old. She is this, kind of has this presence about her that makes you calm. This is Fiona, and Fiona's about to give Hal something that he's wanted, revenge against his nemesis, Scott. He hates this guy, and hate is such a strong word, but Hal truly does not like this guy. And now Fiona is divorcing him. And so what does he do? He takes on the case, but as he gets to know Fiona and Fee, he sees there's a lot more to the story. It's not a nice marriage. It's been ugly for years. And his instincts as a lawyer kind of overpower, but then his friendship and his desire to protect and to make sure that Fee or Fiona is safe from anything kind of is the forefront of everything. And everyone keeps telling him, you know, you got to be careful. You know, Renee even says, hey, you got to be a lawyer hat right now, not the lover hat right now. And throughout it, you you fight, see this tug of war and you, you see where Fee is the stronger one. She knows that she needs to stand on her own two feet, but she also wants to have that hat of Hal when he is in those passionate times. She would like that Hal not lawyer how, not protective how. And it's this tug of war that these two have back and forth and you fall for them and you fall that he says he will never love and he'll never have children because he is just unlovable. But truly he is lovable. He is the guy that you want to love and you want to desire and everything. And Fee sees that and Fee tries to kind of show him those good times and show him that he is the lovable guy. He is worthy of everything. And, it, and it's that those times his walls start to break and he sees it. But ultimately, it's these two have to fight this tug, tug of war and they have to fight their desires to see if it's worth it. And um, this I've highlighted several things and I have to read this one. Um, Hal says, I like to think the man... or." He says, is, I like to think the man I fell in love with, the one who is still young enough to believe and promise to love me forever was real. The deep inside, he was good. He That his aspirations to do good were his bit of perfection. And that's ultimately like Hal, Hal's story. And um, he says, I am worthy of love, of being loved and giving it. I, I want your love, Fee, and I want you. And you, you, through this thing, you, you, your heart breaks for them because he has to overcome his obstacles. And she's there. She's there with him during those times to know that she will give him everything that he needs. And it, it, the beautiful and how it ends and then the epilogue is just icing on the cake, guys. Grab this book. This is Halton. This is book six in the Vested Interest series. And we get to see Reed and we get to see Bentley and we get to see Aiden and, you know, throughout the story. And it's kind of nice. It's like reading your friends all again. So guys, it's in the links. Go get the book. Bye.